They've waited since 2012, but Zinedine Zidane has guided them once more. Real Madrid are the footballing kings of Spain. It's in the DNA, said Zinedine Zidane. Unity was his watchword. And for players like Cristiano Ronaldo and Pepe and Ramos, and even Zinedine Zidane, who've seen it and done it and won it all, you can see what it means to them. They're starting the party here. They'll be dressing the Fiebles, where they will head back to in the wee small hours of the morning. And Florentino Perez does have a celebration planned in Madrid, but not for this week. He wants a double celebration, because he's still got his eyes on taking the European title as well. And for the first time in 59 years, hoping that Real Madrid can be champions of Spain and the champions of Europe at the same time. Party celebrations in Malaga and back in the capital as well. And commiserations in Barcelona. They finished the season three points behind Real Madrid. They've been close, but Terry Gibson, that table tells the tale, isn't it? At the end, they were just that little bit better this season. 100% from week one, when they won 3 0 up Real Sociedad, their intentions were clear. They remained focused, determined. Their intention was to get the Liga title back. They've done exactly that, and they fully deserve to. They've been absolutely brilliant. Zidane has been brilliant, and they fully deserve the league champions title. And I'll credit to Malaga. There was talk of them maybe folding here today, but they put up quite a fight. They forced Kayla Navas into a number of saves. They gave Zinedine Zidane a few scares, and now it's an outpouring of emotion from Zinedine Zidane. Just over a year in charge of this team, and his 27th game, he took them to the Champions League final and won it. This year, he won the World Club Championship. Now, he's almost got the full set. He's won La Liga. His eyes will be trained on Cardiff, and in the first week of June, taking the European title as well. The Malaga supporters seeing off a number of their players. The man who's done the damage today is one Cristiano Ronaldo, who started the scoring in the second minute of the game. 40 goals this season, but it hasn't been a one-man affair. It has been a total team effort this season from Real Madrid. And who knows, maybe this is the start of a whole new era, the start of the Zinedine Zidane era. And Sergio Ramos, the very, very proud Real Madrid captain, has had his part to play, particularly against Malaga, scoring two goals in the reverse fixture at the Estadio Bernabeu. But as Rob Riley says, it's all about the squad strength. Hashtag squad goals. 19 different scorers in La Liga, and Zinedine Zidane will always be a man who has more of a reserved celebration, but this, anything but. And all of those have played their part. Mariano scored against Deportivo La Coruña. Marco Asensio, a tip to be one of the stars of the future, scored early on in the La Liga season. And Gareth Bale, remember that he started this season well, of course has had his injury problems, particularly uh, with his calf muscles, right calf this time, which has kept him out of this game, but may well still have a part to play against Juventus in Cardiff. We've seen this before because Vasquez and Sergio Ramos in their own way, celebrating a 33rd La Liga title, second in nine years, first in five since Mourinho was in charge at the Estadio Bernabeu. Let's just confirm then the final La Liga table, the top of it at least. Real Madrid are champions of Spain and they've done it by a three-point gap over their great rivals Barcelona, who also won by four goals to two at home to Eibar, having been 2-0 down in that game. And the celebrations will continue down on the south coast. We saw Pepe with his selfie stick a bit earlier on. There he is at the front. And Casemiro there as well. Marcelo with the, the scarf draped around the head. Plenty of assists from him. One of the players of the season. Has he been perhaps the left back of choice? We'll find out when we uh, tell you about our teams of the season with the Geiske and Guillem. Uh, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo to be away from games 14 times this season, never before was like that. Uh, how he's convinced Navas in a period where he's, he was struggling that he was still the number one. How he told Isco and James and Lucas Vázquez uh, and even Mariano, as you said earlier, that they will have the chance. And in fact, they all had the moment. 
to win the league. And this is not so much about tactics, it's not so much uh, about changing things in a game, it's much more about making everybody believe that they are important. But secondly, you should see, hear him in his press conference. He's humble mm. and happy, and he keeps telling everybody, just be happy. Enjoy the moment, and that's what they do. And, and it, that isn't something that's put on. It's not. It's not fake. Zinedine Zidane is, is genuinely that way, isn't he, guys? Because he's more of a softly spoken, considered individual. How important is that? Because obviously he's got the talent and the, the playing career that can control the dressing room, but also that calmness, especially with so many egos in the room too. Yeah, but I think that calmness from someone that has won absolutely everything mm. and is such, well, it's such a legend of the game. Keeps it so humble and so so simple. Things so simple, like uh, Ancelotti sort of sort of style, and and like he says, he's convinced Ronaldo. To Real Madrid made short work of a trip to Malaga, and did what they needed to do. Football. It's more than a numbers game. More than transfers, fixtures, or the 4-4-2. The passion we all invest can't be counted. So while the result might not always go your way. When we stand as a team, we win as one. Santander sponsors La Liga, here to help you prosper. This programme is sponsored by Bet365. Get Sky TV and Sky Fiber from 59... Benzema, after Sergio Ramos had almost scored himself to make it 2-0 to Real Madrid's at Malaga. Remember, they just needed a point from this game. And after that first goal, they were pretty much in control. Marcelo, who's been such a creative influence. Ten assists from him. They've had some challenges at the back. Uh, Rafael Varane back in the team, but hasn't always been. Florentino Perez. 33rd La Liga title for Real Madrid. And the celebrations will go on and on, not just out on the south coast, where there are plenty of Madrid fans, but back at the Plaza de Cibeles in the capital where they will go on into the early morning. They're expected to arrive back at around 2 a.m. Let's just round up all of the results from match day 38, the final match day in La Liga. Uh, Granada finishing uh, with yet another defeat, seven losses out of seven for Tony Adams in his time in charge there. Uh, well, Deportivo and Las Palmas uh, have work to do. Uh, Leganes and Alaves, both very good seasons, and uh, they stay up on their... Uh, not so much this year, but last year, he, he still, I think, somehow in his mind, thought he could play in this left uh, position and coming inside and making those diagonals. But slowly realising that, that, no, that it had to be there, near, near the box, near the 18-yard box, and getting those balls from Isco, from Benzema, because that's, that's what he's lethal in the box, scoring goals. I think his seventh con uh, consecutive season scoring more than 40 goals. That's, that's an amazing, amazing number. And, and for a player that is missed early this season, is still you know, catching up with the goals. 1-0 uh, up at, at half-time and Barcelona 1-0 down at home. To side, especially when Varane, uh, the rebound of Varane goes into Benzema, is probably offside. It's the second goal of, uh, of Real Madrid, as, as you said, Benzema has been key. He was a, more of a number nine and the Rafa Benitez, if you like, and he started scoring goals. He was asked to do so. But then when Zidane came in and said, what do you enjoy doing? And he was like, oh, moving around and 